If you were anything like me and Jenna, you talked about Coda for six months straight last year. That small, that beautiful independent film took center stage at last year's Oscars, winning Best Picture, Best Screenplay, Best Supporting Actor for our dear friend, Troy Kotzer. Yeah, now Troy and producer John P Popola are out. Did I say it right? Are out, no, I did not. Are out with a very personal documentary called To My Father. It's a love letter from Troy to his late dad, Leonard. Take a look. Okay. <laughs> John and Troy are with us along with Troy's interpreter, Justin Maurer. Um, first of all, it's so great to see you, Troy. We want, we want to talk a little bit about you winning that Oscar that night. And you dedicated it to the man who meant the most to you, which is your father. Tell us about your dad. First and foremost, thank you so much for having me here. I really feel like it's an important message for me. And it was important for me to honor my father because there are so many people that aren't really aware of how important fathers are to their children, no matter what type of mode of communication they might use. And you can overcome any barrier. And when my father was... When I was born and my parents found out I was deaf, we had, they had to find a way to reach me. And that mode of communication was sign language. And it took time to learn, even though they were so busy. They had four kids, and my father was a policeman. Mm. And he was serving his community all over Arizona and still found the time to learn sign language. And one day he was in a car accident, and everything changed. And he, he physically was paralyzed from the neck down and could no longer sign. And so our whole life changed. And my, my dad didn't let anything stop him. He didn't care what people thought about him. He had to live the rest of his life in a wheelchair and was no longer able to sign. But I looked at myself. And me being deaf wasn't a big deal. I could overcome any obstacle because my father inspired me. And so I think it's so important to share that message of love with everyone. And our documentary is called To My Father. And it's a short documentary that's premiering tonight. John is the producer. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, Troy, one of the parts that was really beautiful and moving in this is when you went straight to the hospital mm -hmm. after you were the school valedictorian, after you gave this speech, and then you showed your dad. Mm -hmm. What was his reaction to that? My dad really broke down into tears, and I had never seen my father act so emotionally because he wasn't able to actually physically be present at my high school graduation. And so we had the old-fashioned VHS camcorder, <laughs> and my brother filmed my speech, and we actually brought the VHS to my dad in the hospital. So I showed up. I was still in my graduation gown, and we showed my dad the video, and it felt like he was there, and he was so proud of me, and he really broke into tears. Mm. Mm. And my dad knew that I would be okay after he saw that speech, oh. and so that I could be successful one day. Wow. And ironically, my daughter just graduated high school about a month ago. Wow. So I'm experiencing that now. And I feel so proud of my daughter. I'm such a proud dad. Oh. And now my daughter's about to go to college in Colorado. Oh, full amazing. circle, full circle. All right. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, family. really parallel. John, let's talk about this partnership that you have with Troy. First of all, it's beautiful. It's more than just two guys working together. You guys have formed a friendship. That's right. You know, uh, our executive producer, Mark Finley, was the one that introduced us. And so last summer, uh, I had him on my uh, podcast, Dad Saved America, to talk about his, his story. And I had seen the Oscar speech. Yeah. And so I pitched Troy, I want to make that story into a film of its own. And so we actually also teamed up with the Texas School for the Deaf, which is actually one of the biggest mm -hmm. schools for the deaf in the country. And filmed this beautiful interview that you, you know, previewed on the stage there. And... One of the things that's been so incredible is that you don't really, you hear the words uh, American Sign Language and you don't think of it as a language in the same way you think about Japanese yeah. or Italian or Spanish. Yeah. But we really got immersed through this partnership into a different way of thinking and seeing the world. And I think, you know, our film 
follows on the heels of CODA and sort of giving people a window into that. I think that was something that was so great about CODA. Yes, it really was. Mm -hmm. you, you've dedicated your career to exploring mm -hmm. father and son relationships. Mm -hmm. What about this one moved you the most? Well, you know, one of the things that really moved me was that my dad was also in a car accident that changed his life. Mm -hmm. So uh, we connected on a really personal level there. And then when I became a dad, it was transformational. I actually used to work down the street at Spike mm. TV. I ran this program called True Dads there. <laughs> and so uh, this has always been something that's mattered a lot to me. And now we get to focus on it all the time. Well, we, we've loved having both of you. Troy, you are such an incredible inspiration. Um, it's so nice to have you here in person. We love watching you on the screen, but this is so much better. Uh, <laughs> we want to let everybody know that To My Father premieres at the Tribeca Film Festival Tonight, everybody yes. go see it. Please do. Thank you. Very Thank beautiful you. and powerful. Yeah.